It's important that we iron as we get started. I want to make sure that my edges are straight when they go together because when they're straight, you end up with a consistent seam. You may want to explore making this more organic as it travels along the edge, but I like having something that looks nice and neat and uh, has a consistent width all the way across. So I'll take my scraps and if I have something that's got a stubborn wrinkle, I may use a water bottle. Um, I just have a spray bottle on hand. I do not have a fancy iron. This is just an old antique iron that I bought a few years ago. In quilting, we often talk about pressing and not ironing, but we haven't gotten started yet, so it's okay if you drag the iron a little bit. Many of these scraps have some nice straight edges, but we'll clean everything up on the cutting mat after we're done ironing. I like for you to start with small pieces because it's not as overwhelming and it gives you a chance to have a few stitches that you're not excited about. You can set it aside and move on and try again on a new piece. If you commit to a long seam, that can, um, that can be a little harder. Here's one of those longer stretches. So I've definitely got several small pieces that I can use, but as I transition from my practice stitches into the stitches that I want to keep, I may want to have some longer pieces. 